This whole part of the discussion with the JW ladies felt like a pre-planned sales pitch for the org. Clearly this one was well prepared for, as they had to have had notes they were following as they kept going on and on and on. My friend and I already fully agree with creation and reject evolution, but they had a huge pitch prepared that they couldn't go without using. I don't know, just killing time and then patting themselves on the back for all their hard work, maybe? What a gift it is just to be able to, you know, know that somebody is there that we can, you know, reach out to and talk to anytime. And he knows who we are as individuals. And, you know, we can get this comfort because we know that he's a God of love and justice and wisdom. And, you know, he can, he can really help us walk through life. And just to be able to have that gift, you know, that's yeah. just, yeah, so yeah. precious. Yeah. And that's the beauty about coming to know and learn about him, you know, because many people don't understand his beautiful qualities. Mm -hmm. Uh, And, you know, why learning the Bible is is so beneficial, because we can kind of understand more why, you know, things are the way they are. Drawing close to him, knowing that he's going to fix it. He's going to fix it. (laughs) Yeah. So, have you, uh, either of you had an opportunity to go to the Was It Designed um, series on JW.org by any chance? No, not at this point. I, from, I may have seen some of them in the past. I, I found for me personally, like I like to really dig deep on that stuff and that's why I really like Dr. Lyle because he gets so deep into it. Um, oh yeah. You know, that I, I found it to be much more detailed and intensive than that than the stuff I found on your website. So that that's where I tend to focus. Um, otherwise I can kind of look at a lot of the stuff that I see on your website and say, oh yeah, yeah, okay. That's, you know, yeah. sort of very basic mm-hmm. and um, there's so much more to it that um, that's, that's kind of where I like to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I would just suggest you just checking it out because it's true, anything, you know, anything we learn, whether it comes from, you know, um, learning yeah. from. Because Andrew and Genesis is a good one. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it. I'm just gonna go just excuse me for one second. Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna go. My dog is. I'm just gonna go see what he's yeah. barking at. <laughs> uh, yeah. The on our website, or it's actually on the app. Do you guys have the app? No, I couldn't get app. it. Um, my phone can't seem to. It's it's too big for my phone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have an old phone, so. <laughs> oh, okay. No um, it's on the website too. But if you look up viewpoints on the origin of life. And their actual interviews with, um, so one is an orthopedic surgeon, one's a law professor, a physician, a roboticist, a pediatrician, a chemist, a biochemist, and it gives all, a brain researcher, zoologist, it has all these interviews with different ones who are in the fields of science and why, you know, some of them did, they actually did believe in evolution before. Mm. Because that's what they were taught, right, to believe. And in their field, that's what's usually promoted. But then usually something in their line of work made them question Mm -hmm. that theory because Mm -hmm. of the complexity of what life is and whatever their their Mm -hmm. field of expertise was. And then they came to know Jehovah. And so they kind of give their their own... uh, experience on that but they usually used whatever whatever made them switch to give their experience of that so it's, mm-hmm. I, I love those um, interviews mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think they they were um, it's in the little box did you know yeah in this lesson the view pin, viewpoints on the origin of life but it's a little series on the app but it would be on the website too if you mm-hmm. looked up mm-hmm. that yeah okay it's not going to get into the detail that you were talking about, but yeah, it's yeah. it's neat to hear a you know a personal mm-hmm. experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there was what just one 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 example that's just coming to my mind. Um, you know, he was um, I don't what's the name of like a, a knee knee doctor, but he 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 studies. There's a, a name. Oh, like an orthopedist. Or no. yeah. Uh, Oh, what did he? I, well, anyway, I'll have to find it. But uh, but um, 
he was saying that, you know, because he, he, uh, you know, he, he works with replacement knees and, Mm -hmm. um, that he's the natural knee and, and, you know, no matter, no matter how hard they, they try, they can never mimic the natural knee. You know, I mean, like they, they've come a long way, but ju- just the natural knee, what it can do and how it can, how it reacts to, you know, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. it can like, it, it, it uh, suspends and, you know, like it yeah. Uh, yeah. just, and so it's kind of experiences where, you know, they've come to realize that, wow, you know, in their field that they're, they're, they're in, um, they've come to see that, you know, there's a creator, like there's mm-hmm. so much intelligence with yeah. the human body itself yeah. and um, whether it be, you know, anything in any sort of field, you can see that there's wisdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the human so, eye. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the human eye. Yeah, even yeah. The, the ability to, when we bleed, that our, our blood clots and then we heal, like even that, you know, you can't, you can't replicate that in science. just the whole mm. process of yeah. growing another human yeah. <laughs> like that is Amazing. Yeah. beyond yeah you know yeah. comprehension of what, how the body the different changes that it goes through yeah. And, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah next was a particularly shocking part of the conversation for us as this woman started talking about how we can basically look forward to having kids on paradise earth instead of in this system I'm cutting out the personal information discussed at this point, but I just wanted to explain that this was the subject we were talking about. I knew that Watchtower has convinced countless JWs not to have kids and instead wait until the new system, which will never come for them. But hearing this in person was just heartbreaking. You'll notice that we didn't really respond, and honestly that's because we did not see that one coming, and so we were surprised by it. We just didn't know what to say at that time. I know that at some point we should bring up the question about how Jesus made it clear that nobody has children in glory that will be like the angels. And if we get a chance again, we'll definitely bring that one up. One day. I, I'm a little past that age now. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm thinking in the new world. <laughs> When, it, when it's more peaceful to have them. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. So we'll never, we'll, we'll, we'll never, uh, there's, there's not an end to learning from Jehovah. Mm-hmm. And, um, one other cool little thing that I saw from the series is um, the locust. They have um, uh, a neuron behind their eye that can detect a crash before it happens. So you know how locusts, they can swarm and they can Mm-hmm. Make through, you know, they can just all turn in unison and uh, they won't collide. Mm-hmm. And so scientists have mimicked this neuron, how it sends the trigger to, you know, their, their, their wings and their legs to prevent them from colliding. So s- scientists have been studying this and they've been putting it into uh, vehicles mm-hmm. and... Uh, yeah, so it's just little little fun facts, you know, like just just a, and another one like a palmello, you know, they uh, mm-hmm. they have such a, uh, a a thick coating around the fruit, and scientists have um, mimicked that, and they're putting that into helmets for protection. Mm-hmm. It's just there's always stuff to learn. Oh, yeah. Like life, that's just a, you know. Just yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I love how bees are organized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I was thinking about that question, when I was studying, I'm like, bees, you know, we mm-hmm. kind of, well, you know, sometimes we can take them for granted of how important we rely on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But even my, our friend had a, had was a beekeeper, and she was telling me I didn't really fully appreciate even how they were all organized, like a city inside yeah. the hive. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And I'm like, that is amazing. Yeah. Like, and they all work together. Yeah. And yeah. what's that? What's that? I had honeybees. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. 
And it was cool. It was actually when I got them and I put them into their new home, their hive, um, they, you, you know, they all started, they, they swarmed around the hive and they like, they got their sense of direction and it, it only took a couple minutes at, and um, then they all started to, they, some of them actually went quite high and just, it's almost like their little satellites were just all coming in. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, they all, they can, they can travel up to uh, six miles mm-hmm. and get nectar in return to this one hive once they've got mm. that all mm-hmm. uh, organized mm-hmm. and yeah it is like a little city in there there's yeah. the guard the medics i didn't even know there's like paramedics <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just it just goes to show like there'll never be an end to what we can learn it's yeah. just such a enjoyable thing hey? yeah yeah so um these articles are actually really interesting i think you'd actually find some of these articles really really interesting um the one um with that uh, origin of life it goes into detail of and i think you'd find that interesting just just some little uh fun facts but lots of scientific facts mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah Yes, it's, if you're into, like, scientific facts, this is a, a really interesting article to go check out. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Should we, <coughs> should we, um, should we uh, go into the next lesson for a little bit, or did you want to finish there? Yeah, I think let's uh, maybe finish here for today and then aim for chapter seven next week Hopefully. yeah yeah we'll try to we'll try to get through next, next <laughs> <week>. <laughs> good right. goal yeah what was the yeah. goal for today yeah that's the first time we've we've kind of done that <laughs> yeah. yeah what makes it easy when everything's agreeable right like yeah all on the same page yeah you know yeah. Kind of part. <laughs> So would you like me to look up some information about uh, dates? Uh, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. I, I have read quite a bit because I think it's a, it's an interesting discussion, and I like I said, I have friends and family who are you know believe in day age or old Earth, and um, so I you can if you want. But would you mind if I look some up to send you as well, or is that sort of I don't know if you guys are allowed to read stuff from other sources. You've probably heard Bridget ask JWs this question in her videos. They never want to admit that they're not allowed to read anything outside of Watchtower approved publications. So they come up with all sorts of ways to skirt around it as if it's their choice and they just don't want to. The brainwashing is so blatantly obvious there, isn't it? It's not just about simply coercing people to do what they don't want to do. It's convincing them, or at least trying to convince them, of what they do and don't want to do. It's information control via thought and emotion control, which directly controls their behavior. That's the bite model in action right there, isn't it? The thing is, if you really do believe you have the truth, what's wrong with hearing other perspectives and honestly thinking them through for yourself? If you have the truth, you have nothing to fear, right? And even more, if you really thoroughly understand your opponent's perspective, would that not allow you to better expose the problems with their views and help them to see the truth too? Um, I mean, like, uh, I, I, I already, in, like, I already know, like, what I believe firmly, um, but, like, I mean, I don't know, what do you think? Or, yeah, like, I, I guess... From like what you said, it's uh, it's kind of different. We're all entitled to our opinion, right? Yeah. But yeah. we we as if we if that's what we believe. Um, but if you're open to 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 seeing new information about it. Um. Yeah. yeah. I think I'll I'll kind of say that 
if we if we are all open to information, we could all share information. Otherwise, I think that would probably wouldn't accomplish a whole lot. Yeah, like it's not going to change our our right. viewpoint. Yeah, and right. I, well, same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I have looked into it a lot, right? Because I mean, you know, going to school and whatever else, like that's all all day old earth, and you know, it's that's just assumed, right? And um, yeah. so it is, like I said, it's an interesting topic, but I. I I kind of doubt you could send me anything new that I haven't read. You can, you can, if you think you can find something that I haven't, that's fine, and, and I can do the same, you know, to send you some information if you want. But like I said, I think it's a really minor thing, you know. To but how do you feel? Um, yeah, like you say, I mean, um, probably the same is. Uh, um, I probably haven't looked at it as deep as you have. <laughs> But I know that I know I know, I know the different views. So um, yeah, I'm okay just leaving it and just moving on. Yeah. yeah we can always we can, we can always touch back if if you know mm-hmm. you about it later in the future. You know, you sure. want to touch back on. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll just move on and. Um, that in mind. If, if I do happen to read something really interesting, and I'll I'll send you guys a link if you guys want to read it. Um, sure. But anyway, that's just we'll just yeah. Move yeah. On if I find. And I was thinking, like you've sent a lot of articles, and we haven't really had the time to like really get into any of them to discuss. So. Um, yeah. Maybe at some point down the road, we could think about just having a meeting to maybe touch base on some of those. Um, apart from just doing the book because those are like those would take enough time on their own right so yeah and a lot of you the questions that are raised um i find that you know in the book we do get to that point so maybe mm-hmm. that could be like a good reference to yeah uh, yeah maybe tie into the study yeah um, i was thinking that too if we get to a chapter where i know you've sent us information then we could tie that in at that point yeah yeah, yeah. After so many months of going through the book and her sending so many articles, we have never really gotten to discuss a single one, which is a primary reason that we were more resistant by this time to letting them send even more. Clearly, they're hoping the articles will be enough to just convince us of Watchtower teaching without having to actually go through anything in person or spend any time reasoning on anything. By this point, we were really nauseated by the whole prospect of her sending more articles that she had never had any plans of going through with us. Initially, I admit I was hoping we would go through some of them, at least eventually. But in time, it became evident that they are 100% driven to do the book study and nothing else, period. It's like they just want to keep things light and fluffy and shallow and never have to deal with anything of substance, particularly with us Christendom followers. They're hoping the book will lull us into their system, and before we know it, we'll be loyal Watchtower followers just like them. Because, um, yeah, like the study, it's, it's you know, um, everything is covered. Mm. All the questions are, are covered. Like, I was even thinking I went over uh, the um, lesson seven, and it goes into uh, God as a spirit, which we sort of talked about last week a little mm-hmm. bit. And uh, it covers, it goes into a little bit more. So, anyway, yeah. Um, we can we can have that for reference as well. And, um, the next study is so nice. All about Jehovah. Yeah. Yeah. What is Jehovah like? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, anything? Did you want to say anything? Or, you know, questions? Or? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's pretty much foundational stuff I know already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we flew. We flew through that one pretty quick today, didn't we? Anyway. All right, well, <laughs> did you want to close up with prayer? Yeah, sure. Dear Jehovah God, our Heavenly Father, 
we thank you so much for this beautiful day of life and all that uh, you've given us to enjoy the creation and um, the ability to know you and learn about you and uh, and study your word, Jehovah. What a gift uh, your word is to be able to um, really help us navigate through this um, difficult life that we have right now, but we know that you have a beautiful hope for the future um, where we can get back to the way you had intended humans to live in peace and in harmony and have a perfect relationship with you. So we look forward to this time, Jehovah. Please um, may we have your Holy Spirit to get through um, the difficulties that each of us face. Um, and we know many, many around the world are facing different uh, difficulties and circumstances. Please be with them as well and help them to endure uh, whatever their trial is as well. We thank you for the time that we've been able to spend together today and uh, learning about you and talking about you. It encourages us and makes us happy. So please bless the rest of our day and, and be with us um, until we can meet again together. We love you, Jehovah, and we thank you so much for the ransom sacrifice of your son, Christ Jesus. And we ask this all in forgiveness in his name. Amen. Thank you. You guys have a lovely day. You too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Yeah. yeah.